my business partner is Mark Gamble and uh, Matt Morello today to introduce to you a brand new product called Convenient Coffee. So how many people in here drink coffee or some other hot beverages? Awesome. So you're probably familiar with uh, two major problems that coffee drinkers face, which are that it takes too long to make or get, and it's too hot. So whether you make your own coffee at home or pick it up at a restaurant to get an energy boost to start your day, uh, you're almost always in a rush or you have to wake up earlier in order to stay on schedule. On top of that, once the coffee is made, you can't even drink it right away because it's too hot. And uh, we feel your pain, which is why we came up with a solution to these problems. What if you could set a time in advance on your phone for when you want your coffee to be made? You could time it in any way that would work best for you and your schedule. Let me propose a specific scenario. So you set the coffee to be made at the same time that you wake up in the morning. Now you don't waste time waiting for it to be made on your way out of your home, and you don't have to wake up earlier to stay on time. Also, once you get out of bed and actually get your coffee, you can drink it right away because it will have had time to cool down. This can, be, this can all be accomplished with a Bluetooth Wi-Fi enabled app that is synced up with a receiver placed in a coffee maker. Using a patented design for the receiver that fits perfectly into Keurig automatic coffee makers, we will then license it to Keurig. According to experts, we would likely make a royalty of 6% on each unit sold by Keurig with our technology. So who needs this product? Other than uh, all the people in here who raise their hands, specifically, the 41 million people who drink their coffee within the first hour of waking up in the day. The issues we brought up are specifically uh, affect consumers in this demographic, and in total, a whopping 54% of Americans, which is about 100 million people, drink coffee, meaning our product can definitely appeal to the mass market. <coughs> so the major cost for creating this product would include at most $15,000 for app creation and $2,500 for a Bluetooth Wi-Fi design package. Uh, as I said before, we'll license this product to Keurig. And uh, of our specific initial target market of 41 million people, there would be about 1.2 million early adopters. So while still being conservative, we could expect uh, with Keurig's brand and marketing power to sell 1.2 million units in two years. Uh, with, our, with those sales, our royalty fees, and after expenses, that would still be a gross profit of two and a half million dollars. So in order to be successful, we need to know about our competition. And we believe there are three major categories of competitors. <coughs> Automatic coffee makers, smart appliances, and future technological threats that could enter the market. So for automatic coffee makers, Jura Coffee is a top competitor because they have so many unique features uh, for their coffee makers, including automatic frothers and advanced filter cartridges for fresher coffee, but they don't allow you to set a time to uh, for your coffee to be made. Uh, as for smart appliances, GE Brilliant Connected Appliances allow consumers to control their appliances and the appliance settings from their phones, but they only work with uh, certain GE appliances. And finally, a technology currently being worked on is called a Wi-Fi plug, and the way this is work, would work is you'd plug electronics into the Wi-Fi plug, plug the Wi-Fi plug into an outlet, and then you'd be able to use an app to control um, the appliance. But this technology does not even have an expected date to be released into the market yet. So clearly, from our uh, main competitors, we have plenty of different differentiation to be successful. And so that's pretty much it. And if there are any questions, we have. Thank <laughs> you.